Millions of years ago, the saber-toothed cat ruled the ancient world as one of the most terrifying predators to ever walk the earth. But behind those massive fangs and that powerful body was a fatal flaw. Because the saber-toothed cat wasn't just dangerous, it was doomed from the start. Today, we're breaking down how one of history's most iconic predators evolved itself into a corner and why those famous saber teeth may have sealed its fate. The saber-toothed cat, the most famous being the genus Smilodon, looked like a supercharged version of a modern big cat. A stocky, powerful body, massive forearms built for grappling, and of course, two seven-inch canine teeth sharp enough to end anything that moved. But here's the problem with that iconic upgrade. Those teeth? They were more like glass swords. Scientists have discovered that Smilodon actually had a surprisingly weak bite force for its size. It didn't clamp down like a lion. Instead, it used its powerful neck muscles to drive the teeth down like a stake. This created incredible piercing power, but the teeth themselves were brittle. Just a few pounds of sideways pressure, the kind you'd get from a struggling animal, could snap a saber tooth clean off. And that meant the tooth was gone forever. For an adult hunter, a broken saber meant a slow, inevitable starvation. So how do you hunt with super fragile fangs? You evolve a body, a strategy, and even a society that forces you to use them perfectly every single time. And you start young. Fossils evidence shows that juvenile saber tooths went through a double fang stage where their baby teeth remained to support and protect the adult sabers as they grew in. It's a sign of just how critical and how vulnerable these weapons were from the very beginning. Modern lions suffocate their prey. Tigers crush windpipes. Their contemporary, the dire wolf, hunted in packs, chasing down animals and delivering crushing bites. But saber-toothed cats? They had only one move. It was a high-stakes, all-or-nothing ambush. First, pin the prey down. Using the brute strength of their massive forearms, they had to completely immobilize their target, often a giant bison or a young mammoth. Then, and only then, deliver the perfect killing stab into the throat or soft underbelly. This required a combination of incredible arm strength, precision, and very likely teamwork. Fossils found at the La Brea tar pits show individuals with healed, crippling injuries. An animal couldn't have survived a broken leg on its own, which strongly suggests a social structure where the group cared for its injured members. This was a hunt with zero room for error, because if they bit too early while the prey was still thrashing, teeth break. If they grabbed at the wrong angle, teeth break. If the massive prey fell sideways during the struggle, teeth break. The saber-toothed cat didn't just evolve a unique hunting technique. It evolved a high-risk, high-reward strategy that depended on everything going right. And in nature, things rarely go right forever. Evolution can give an animal incredible abilities. But there's always a catch. The more specialized you are, the less adaptable you become. The saber-toothed cat was the ultimate specialist. Its entire anatomy was a finely tuned machine for hunting one specific type of animal, megafauna. Giant, slow-moving herbivores like young mammoths, camels, and giant ground sloths. All massive, bulky targets. They were perfect until they started disappearing. As the last ice age ended, climate change reshaped the world. Grasslands shrank and forests expanded. The megafauna populations collapsed. Big, slow prey became rare. But the saber-toothed cat couldn't just switch to hunting deer or smaller animals. Its stocky body wasn't built for a long chase. Its entire strategy was designed for wrestling giant creatures to the ground. And then came another pressure, a new, hyper-adaptable predator, early humans. 
competing for the same dwindling resources. When your survival depends on a very specific set of circumstances, your entire species hangs by a thread. The saber-tooth cat was an evolutionary masterpiece, a perfect predator for its time. But its greatest weapon was also its greatest liability. The very trait that made it a legend was the anchor that dragged it under when the world changed beneath its paws. A cautionary tale, written in the fossil record. As the Ice Age ended, the world began to breathe again. Temperatures rose, the great ice sheets retreated. For many creatures, this was an age of opportunity. But for one of the planet's most terrifying predators, it was a death sentence. The vast open grasslands shifted, shrinking into forests and scrubland. The food chains that had been stable for millennia twisted into new, unfamiliar shapes. And with that change came brutal competition. Animals that could adapt quickly, wolves, smaller, more agile cats, opportunistic bears, they survived. They found new food, new territory. But the saber-toothed cat? It was a prisoner of its own evolution, locked into a blueprint it couldn't escape. Its energy demands were immense, requiring huge meals to fuel its muscular frame. Its entire existence was built around hunting giant, slow-moving prey, a niche that was rapidly shrinking. Its hunting strategy? a masterpiece of ambush and overwhelming force, required specific conditions that were simply vanishing. When the world changed, the saber-toothed cat couldn't change with it. Even its incredible physical design began to work against it. That iconic, powerful body became a cage. Its short, Bob's tail meant it had poor balance, useless in a high-speed chase. Its massive forelimps, perfect for wrestling a mastodon to the ground, were terrible for generating speed. They made it an anchor, not an accelerator. And its most famous weapons, those colossal canine teeth, were both lethal and incredibly risky. They were fragile like glass daggers. A wrong move, a twist against solid bone, and they could snap, dooming the predator to starvation. It was like a professional wrestler in a world that suddenly needed sprinters. As its large prey disappeared, replaced by smaller, fleeter animals, the saber-toothed cat's greatest advantages flipped, becoming fatal weaknesses. All muscle, but no endurance. All power, but no flexibility. All fangs, but no future. So where do we fit in? Did humanity deal the final blow? There's a long-running debate about our role in its demise. We certainly coexisted, and we absolutely competed for the same dwindling resources. It's very likely we hunted the same big animals, putting even more pressure on the ecosystem. But the evidence doesn't suggest that humans were actively hunting saber-toothed cats. We didn't need to. The truth is much simpler. They were already standing on the crumbling edge of a cliff. Humans may have just been one more tremor, one final bump that made the ground beneath them give way. The saber-toothed cat was a terrifying, magnificent creature, beautifully and brutally engineered for a world that in the end just disappeared. Its extinction wasn't a story of weakness or failure. It was the story of being too good at one thing a hyper-specialist in a world that suddenly demanded a generalist. Sometimes evolution creates monsters, and sometimes it creates masterpieces that are too perfect to survive their own perfection.